I want to show you how to test the behaviour of your rig um, and you need a more complex shape than a, a flat surface or even a curved surface. Um, the adaptive point itself has a property called orientation and it has these different choices auto calculate vertical emplacement orthogonal emplacement vertical and family. So what I had done was draw a point that was actually hosted on the adaptive point. You can see that there if I click show host. Um, and then what, what it had was a, a parameter, sorry, a parameter uh, here that said it was offset by five feet or offset by the panel depth. Okay. So what I did is I, I, I made several different panels and I named them according to the uh, the orientation of this of this point by host. So if I say save this, if I say save it as a family generic rig by host reference. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to open another file I've got here called sample surfaces. And in this, I've actually got a complex shape created uh, with splines uh, and reference lines where you can go in and you can find a point. So I'm going tab till I find that, and then you can adjust the placement of the of the vertices within the spline. So what I want to do is show just how you need a complicated surface like this to kind of get the full picture of how your rig behaves. If I, if I take that surface that I created and I divide it up and I'll make it, a, I'll make it fairly large. Let's say I just do 6 and 6. Um, looking at the patterns that are available, I loaded in different patterns. So the first one that I'm looking at is the vertical and family. And if I look at how that behaves in my model here, you can see that it's got uh, lines that, the lines that are coming vertical from the XY plane of the points are all slightly different on, in their orientation because they're each coming vertically from the XY plane of the vertical point. Whereas for example, if I, if I use the option that was uh, post by reference, then I'm getting what looks like one line, but is in fact four, but they're being they're coming off of the surface uh, according to the uh, the angle of the surface itself. So the points are reorientated to be to give me really what amounts to a, a, the normal of the of the surface. If I use the other option, which is uh, orthogonal on placement. The orthogonal will always be orthogonal to the XY plane of the family that it was created in. So it's always going to be, in effect, uh, a line that is vertical in my, in my project or in my mass model when I've got it on the surface. And the last option on there is the option that says auto calculate. And auto calculate is actually, it's not very evident, but what it's doing is that it's actually calculating the angle by sector of the different lines and using that uh, to, to position the, the outside of, or of my rig. Now I can see this more clearly if I were to actually do something like this. If I said tab until I select a, a panel and I say edit the family. Um, if I were to do something like say uh, put a 
point on here and let's draw some geometry on that point so I'm going to put a, a circle here and then what I'm going to do is just control and select both of those options and say create me the solid geometry if I load that into the project remember this was the auto calculate so if I look now at what auto calculate is doing is it's 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 uh, it's using those it's orienting that geometry according to the to the bisecting angle between the 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 different points that that meet on the corner of the of the cell itself this is easier to see i'm going to control z if i go back and i say open the family that i've got that was called uh, Genetic Rig Auto Calculate and if you look here you'll see that what I've got is down here I've got the Auto Calculator so I didn't need to draw the whole model because really I just need those two sides with whatever the corner is because the other places on my grid will be repeated, repeated units so if I load this into my project, and I were to pick the pattern that's on here, and choose the one that I just brought in, which is called uh, this one, Auto Calculate Tube Four. It's got four different types in it, which is why you're, you're now going to see that they they meet. try and get a little closer so you can see it. But that's what my geometry looks like. So if I go back in here, tab to the panel itself, edit the family, all that had happened here was that I have four types that are created in here where, where for type 8 I've got an 8 inch tube diameter, for 6 I've got 6 for 4, I've got 4, and if I wanted to, let's go back to the 8 inch and let's specify the panel depth as being uh, 5 feet and apply, so you see the change here. So I'm just driving the geometry of parameters that are in my, in my model. Okay, so if I load this into my project again, overwrite the old one. Um, the, the, the point is that the auto generate is going to give me really a, a single four points on the outside or inside of my uh, of my rig. So if I took this, I'll just finish with this. So if I took that panel and I said edit the panel, let's save it as a family that I'm going to call auto calculate um, blended surface okay and I actually don't need uh, these types so I can say delete 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 Now what I'm going to do here is just remove the geometry, the, the, the solid forms that I had created on the rig. And if I take just the top four, reference lines like that, and then holding the control, the bottom four reference lines here. I use reference lines because of the reason I gave before, but being able to edit them most easily. And if I say create the solid geometry, it looks just like an extruded block, but its behavior is completely different. So if I uh, just make one check on here, I want to make sure that my, uh, my offset distance is driven by this panel depth parameter. And now what I'm going to do is say load, load that into the project. 
Okay, so if I look at this in 3D, and I were to take this this the same rig that I had before, but with different geometry on it, and I can now come and say, let's take the uh, blended surface. What I'm getting is a surface that looks more like like that with the panels. So the panels are the edges are blended together 